Hi all, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to see how to set up Hybris 2211. So let's get started. So I have prepared a notes which I will provide the link of this note in the description of this video. So first thing you have to do is to install the JDK 17 from this link. So if you are using Windows, uh, click on this uh, Windows uh, 64 installer and once it is downloaded, install in your system. So once it is installed, then open the command prompt. And check for the Java version. So type a command Java space hyphen version. So your uh, JDK version will be 17. So once you verified this, uh, you have to click on this link. You have to download the SAP Hybris Suit 2211 from this URL. Uh, so remember one thing, in order to download the SAP Hybris Suit 2211, you should have a S user ID. So if you have the S user ID, then only you can download uh, this Hybris 2211 suit. So once you have land up in this page, you have to search for 2211. And you will, uh, you will be opening the installation product category one. So click on this and go under this folder under the download tab and you have to open CX Commerce Cloud 2211 and download the latest version. Click on uh, this link, it will be start the downloading. So our download has been started. So we will wait till download get completed. So our hybrid suit has been downloaded successfully. So let's go to the next step. So next step is to create a folder uh, SAP hybrid 2211 and extract uh, our hybrid suit in, inside that folder. So what we will do. Uh, so in the download folder our CX commerce 2211 hybrid suit has been downloaded. So we will go to our C drive and we will create a new folder here and and we will name it as uh, sap hybris 2211 and we will extract uh, our hybris suit inside that folder so right click so you can use uh, a 7 zip to extract it so click on show more option then click on 7 zip now uh, click on extract file and you have to click here then navigate to your uh, C drive and this is the folder which we created SAP hybrid 2211 so select this folder and click on OK. So it will start the extraction. So we will continue once our extraction is completed. So our extraction is completed now. So 
let's proceed to the next step so next step is to open the install uh, cmd inside the installer folder and run this command so go to the installer folder and open cmd here and paste this command so we will be running the command install.bat hyphen r cx setup so this is cx is our recipe so if you go inside the recipe so you are using this cx recipe so this will get installed and then uh, setup hyphen a initial admin password so basically uh, I, I have set the password as uh, nimda so you can set uh, you can set any other password if you want so this will be your back office and hse uh, credential so whatever password you set here so uh, it will set by default uh, it will take a default password as named uh, whatever you set it here so once you uh, paste this command hit enter so it will take some time to execute So our recipe installation is been completed. It took one minute, 21 second. Uh, next command is to uh, initialize the system. So again, in the same folder, we will be using this command install.bat hyphen uh, This is our recipe CX and we will be using the initialization command. Proceed with the uh, initial admin password. Copy this paste this in your command from inside the installer folder and execute this command so it will take time uh, depending on your system uh, performance so it might uh, take around one to two hours to get uh, initialized so i will be back once uh, the initialization is completed so guys our initialization has been completed successfully so it took three hour one minute and five second in my system so now let proceed to the next step so next step is the last step uh, we have to go inside the platform folder and start our hybrid server so let's go back and let's go back to sap hybris 2211 folder then we have to go to hybris then go to bean then go to platform open the cmd here now start your hybrid server you, uh, you have to execute the command hybrid server dot bat in order to start your hybrid server so hybrid server will also take a time uh, to start so let's wait so guys our server has been started successfully so next thing we have to do we have to configure our port in the host file so in order to do that uh, go to your C drive then go to uh, Windows then go to system uh, 32 then uh, go to uh, drivers then go to etc 
so right click on your host file and uh, open this with uh, notepad plus plus and you have to configure the port inside the host file uh, 127.0.0.1 space localhost and electronic.local april hyphen uk dot local april hyphen de dot local space power tools dot local configure this and so one uh, once you have configured this open your browser and hit url uh, write local host colon 9002 slash hsc and login to your hsc so we have successfully login to our hsc and you can see the hybrid version from here go to platform then extension and you can see our 2211.13 version has been installed now let's open the back office so at first time a back office take a few minutes to load so our back office is uh, loaded successfully now log in to your back office i will give username as admin and password uh, i will use uh, which i have configured during the initialization that is namda So our back office has been opened successfully. Now let's open our uh, uh, April and uh, electronic site. So open a new tab and paste the URL this. Uh, you have to type the URL electronics.local colon uh, 9002 and give Y accelerator storefront slash electronics slash en. This is for the electronics site so you can see our electronics site has been opened uh, in same way you can open your april uk site so url for april uk site is this so that's all for this video hope you liked it thanks